How's it going guys? My name is Rushcode, and welcome back to another day of me trying to figure out the Unreal Engine 4. In today's video, as promised, I'll be making my first level. So the first thing I did was clear up everything inside the level itself, deleting all the boxes, ramps, whatever, all the stuff I made, and then moving and scaling the walls around the edges so that the room would be a bit smaller. So yes, my first level is consisting entirely of one room. And this room is uh, the dark room from Resident Evil 2, I think, and Resident Evil 3. It's one of my favorite games of all time, and this particular room is meaningful to me because it uh, is a safe room. And I remember always coming here when I wanted to be safe from the zombies. <laughs> and it also takes me back to the time when I was a kid and I used to watch my brother play the game first. And I'd always close my eyes when scary things were happening around in the game. And I remember he would come to this room as well, and we would try to figure out what to do, because there's like a, a back room to it where you can produce photography and stuff. So lots of good memories in this room. And I'm basically just doing what I understand is known as white boxing, just to get the general shape of the room, and where everything would be inside. So once I scaled everything down to a roughly sensible size, I got a little bit smart and used a long rectangle to represent some kind of locker and use that to determine the approximate height that I should use for the room. So I walked up to it a few times in game and looked up and down a bit and just to get a feel for what the right height would be. So once I sorted that out, I made a second locker just to keep the other locker company. Didn't want him to get lonely. So from there I continued to resize the room to get the walls and floor and everything down to the correct height for the dark room. It got a little bit tricky when I had to make a few doorways, but I figured it out in the end. I just needed to make some kind of extra block on top or something that has roughly the same size as the others. Once I got all that done, I started to put some furniture into the room itself. So the cabinet and lockers, and there was also a safe box. Uh, I, I forgot what the actual name is in Resident Evil, but it's the inventory box where you can grab, uh, you can put a whole bunch of weapons and first aid kits and whatever in there. But the weirdest thing I had to make was the table in the middle of the room because the platform on top was going to be a plane. And I wasn't really happy about that at first because it just seemed a little bit out of proportion, right? Because it really should have a bit of a thickness to it. But I didn't really care too much at the time anyway because I'm just whiteboxing. Now, once I made the vent over one of the doorways, I decided it would be a good idea to put some color into that. So I spent a little bit of time on trying to figure out how to change colors, I learned that it was it had something to do with textures. So after figuring out how to do that, I started applying the textures to everything else in the room, including the walls, the cabinet lockers, and the inventory box. And then I had to deal with the table. I realized that you can't apply textures to a plane. Or you can, but it just doesn't show up. So after a bit more snooping around, I figured out how to change the scale of the scale, if that makes sense. <laughs> So apparently I did not have to scale things by 0.25 units every time. I can scale it down to 0.0625. So I went with that, got my table all in order with the textures and everything, and then just did a bit of a playthrough to see how it all feels when I was inside the room. And as a final touch, this being a safe room, I thought I would try to make a typewriter. And again, I was just doing whiteboxing, so my typewriter was literally just two bricks glued together. <laughs> And I wanted to make it movable and shootable, so I turned it from static to movable and just had a bit of fun with that. So at the end of this, I felt pretty happy with what I achieved here. I felt like I did something that gave me a sense of accomplishment. I mean, I made my first level, so to speak, just a room, but it was something that I made. And then I realized I did not need to turn the level into a room. So the next day, I decided to redo the entire project by making the room inside the level, like any sane person would. So I started off with the walls, taking not much time at all to get them to roughly the correct size. And I raised it off the ground a little bit because I wanted to make it sort of like a step up into the room. And then I used some furniture to calibrate the correct room size and started filling up the room with everything else that needed to be there. And I have to say, I was quite impressed with how quickly I was getting through all of this this time around, seeing that it took me about twice the amount of time the day before. And watching all of this unfold actually made me feel like I was doing whiteboxing the right way this time. 
So the final piece to this puzzle, the you know the cherry on top or the coup de gras or whatever it is in French, I don't know, I have no idea, I don't speak French, but the final piece was the stairs instead of a typewriter this time. Sometimes you have to say no to certain details so that you can say yes to more important ones. And when it was all said and done, I have to say I was pretty proud of what I achieved there, much more than what I did the day before, which honestly just felt like crap at this point. And from a performance perspective, it was fascinating to compare the two different attempts, where in the first one I was learning how to build a room, and in the second one I was applying that knowledge. So I was pretty impressed with how much faster I got that second attempt done. It only took me about 30 minutes, while my first attempt took almost an hour. And I took this second attempt pretty seriously. I did not do any textures, I did not try to get ahead of myself here, I just focused on purely whiteboxing. But in my next video, I will be doing some stuff with textures for this room. So that's something you guys can look forward to. But if you like this video, guys, hit that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. What have you guys made with whiteboxing before? Is it easy for you guys to work with? Because honestly, when I look at this, it's a bit hard to see everything because it's all white. <laughs> and if you would like to join the channel and our awesome community, you can hit that subscribe button down below. And ring the bell to get notified for when the next video comes out. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.